to ask him which is the first century environment explorers are here in the east in northeast of France. Now we've done one video and we've only just come into the town from the entrance we've picked up all this rubbish so far. Let's have a quick look around this car park and see how much rubbish we can find here on this video. These tops and things, little container things that are a pain in the butt. Here you've got this beautiful colour of trees in the autumn. What do people do? They come and just leave their cans of beer around the bottom of the tree. Not just cans, just bottles as well. Many people just dumping the rubbish here. Plastic top from something. A plastic bag. All down by the river. So don't pick it up. Where's it going to end up? Okay, this is some of the rubbish we just picked up in the car park area here. What's the point of this video? I should show you even the beautiful part, uh, beautiful little village in the middle of nowhere, really. You'll still find lots of rubbish. How much we found just so far? Look at it. All that. This lot here, too. Now. Here you down again, as usual. Good old McDonald's bag full of stuff. Yeah. Plastic spoons, everything else. Oh, look, look, look at it all. They just come in and just throw it all down. There's another pump there, plastic by the river. Oh, the beautiful trees and everything here. See so again, just down here, you've got more plastic rubbish being dumped. And balloons again, so deadly. More rubbish. Yeah, look at the beautiful colours of the trees and everything else around here. Up through there, beautiful village. Lots of plastic piping, plastic here. Just amazing, we've had it, we've only probably walked no more than 200 metres so far. Those beautiful trees, but I was lucky to have one of these in my front garden back in Manchester. They're lovely. Did you see the colours? Um, okay, now I'm going to mention that company over there because a lot of this is probably coming from them. It's these strips of plastic. It's all in their yard as well. So it gets blown out. There's some over there in the river. I will bit up as well. There's a plastic bottle underneath that tree. <laughs> this is what I was saying to my friends. I'm not pessimistic, I'm realistic. This is what people don't understand how much rubbish there is. Plastic rubbish on the planet still. Bits down here again. So, there's a big bit hanging from that tree just down there. Well, unfortunately, this uh, river here has a horrible stink to it. A really nice colour, and the smell is terrible. Again, another plastic bottle down there. Okay, this is a little area here which brings you into the centre of town. I just want to show the rubbish I find around here too now. That's really annoying me because I've seen this, you know, putting a plastic bottle in there for what reason? It's just bloody lazy. Okay, like I said, we're just in this little area here. It's a very, very small area. And this is the amount of rubbish I found just here. Now, we don't need this, we don't need bottles. Cans we've always had, but we could reuse them probably. But all this plastic we don't need. Oh, look at this. It's for cleaning your teeth, flossing your teeth. You've got two bloody fingers. You don't need this stuff. Absolute garbage. These cigarette lighters need to be banned too. Okay, this is all the rubbish we've picked up this morning. Just look at all that. In a small, beautiful village. You wouldn't think, and that's just in less than 200 metres, all that rubbish.